What's good? It's your big brother, K Reno. K Reno. Check it out, man. Um, I said I was going to hit y'all with another one. And here it is. Um, just a few things that um, I've been thinking about. Independence is very is something that's very important to me. As an artist, um, I've been independent since I started. I've never been on a major label. Um, thank goodness, man, that I didn't when I was younger. But in the light of this new NFL policy that just came out where the NFL has instituted a policy that requires anybody, any of the NFL personnel who is currently on the field to stand for the national anthem. If you do not want to stand for the national anthem, you have the choice to stay back in a locker room until the anthem is played and then you come back onto the field whenever you decide. Let me just say, man, it's a bunch of BS. It's a bunch of hypocritical BS. And a lot of people are not going to like what I got to say. But if you don't like what I got to say, get over. You'll be all right. I don't care because everything I'm about to say is rooted in reality. If this country emphasizes that it is in your well within your rights to to protest in 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 the form that you would like to protest to have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of assembly, things of that nature, then you turn right around and hypocritically criticize individuals who choose to exercise that right then you yourself are either snakishly trying to dismantle the the cause or the attention to a cause or you just a straight up hypocrite or both because to speak on the whole protest and how it got started in the first place, Colin Kaepernick was protesting police brutality in the murder of unarmed black people in this country by police officers. He was not disrespecting the military. He was not disrespecting the American flag. These were not his intentions. His intention was to use that platform that he had to silently protest because he made himself of no big reputation in the beginning. Silently protesting against those causes that I just previously mentioned. The narrative got changed by your y'all's president and he successfully stomped out the true reason why players were kneeling in protest in the first place and put a spin on it that made um, foolish people in this country, a lot of racist people too, jump on the bandwagon of they're disrespecting the military, they're disrespecting the flag. I just want to ask a few questions about disrespect of the flag. Because if you look it up the word patriotism, man, and if you study individuals who are considered to be true patriots throughout American history, individuals such as Paul Revere and others, they were in protest of something. They were fighting against what they perceive to be injustices and they are revered, no pun intended, because of that. Because the understanding that just because this is the country I live in and just because this is the country that you love does not mean that every single aspect and everything that that country does is correct doesn't mean that there are not things 
that take place in that particular country that you love that you cannot be opposed to, that you can't speak out against. That's ridiculous. So because you're Amer in America and because you're considered an American, if you speak out against something that is unjust, now you're being ungrateful. Now you hate America. That's the one they really like to use. Oh, you hate America. No, fool. If anything, America hates us because its actions, America's actions have shown that they don't have love for people of color in this country and they have no type of um, respect for hu the human rights that are God-given human rights. They don't have any respect for those human rights as it relates to black people and other people of color. These are facts. History proves it. So get out your feelings. So the narrative got changed, man. The first thing I said at the beginning of this little talk was independence. Here's my thing. I had a great conversation about this also, actually today. When I think about sports, music, but sports in particular, in this particular um, vein, NBA, they had lockouts. NFL going through what they're going through right now. These are leagues that are predominantly um, black leagues that consist of majority of the players are, are black players. Start your own league up, man. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, man, they can't do that. It, it, it's not that he... Nothing of, of um, great benefit and long-term benefit is going to be easy. Of course it's not easy. But who's the, who's the, who's the product? God, I hate to use that word, but who is the commodity in these, in these situations, in these sports arenas? It's the players. Plain and simple. So when these billionaire owners come out and you feel mistreated by these billionaire owners as a player, make them understand where their bread is buttered at. If you LeBron James, if you Kevin Durant, if you whoever, and you have an issue with certain issues, if you have an issue with with the way the league is run, if you're a football player, you're in the NFL, and you have an issue with way, the way the league is run, get out, separate, and build your own. And I can guarantee you when those top players start pulling out of the league, and making that sacrifice, and I'm going to get to that because I know what y'all thinking too. But when they start making that sacrifice and that bottom line starts to be affected, <laughs> I guarantee you the negotiations will go a whole lot differently. When us as fans of these sports start to pull our support away from the sponsorship that supports these teams and these franchises, I guarantee you the conversations will be different. Okay, what companies support the NFL? They're not paying attention to our um, calls for justice. We're not spending no more money with y'all. Plain and simple. Withdraw our economic support They'll come to the table. But maybe by then we won't care if they come to the table because we'll be in the process of building our own. And like I said earlier, I know what y'all are thinking. Oh, man, they not going to do that, man. These dudes ain't going to leave all that money on the table. Well, you might be right as it relates to some, but as it relates to others, there are many that are, that are willing to, to take that chance. And those who are afraid 
to make that move <laughs> will suffer the consequences at some point because these athletes generate billions and billions of dollars for these for these owners and they're able to pay you millions and you think you made it because you you're getting these millions of dollars from a billionaire who's perpetually recycling this 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 cycle because you're only going to play on average five six seven maybe if you get 10 years out of it that's cool but on average you don't get the average player gets about five six years but as long as he owns the team, he can own the team for 30, 40 years. He can die and pass the team down to his son. And that money is steady coming in. So why don't we build our own and stop collect, not collectively bargaining, but stop collectively begging the NFL, Roger Goodell, and all these owners to treat us right, to treat you right, treat yourself right, get out, get out. They do this because they know you're not going to leave. They implemented a policy that no players had a hand in the decision-making process to agree on that policy. No players were involved in that. And then the commissioner said, uh, we'll continue collaborating with now y'all haven't started collaborating y'all made this decision on your own that was one owner I think the 49ers owner who was like nah I ain't even voting out of 32 teams one guy was like nah that ain't cool you know so they're showing you what they think about you man build your own if you're in music, build your own. Quit begging the record labels. Because the record label is going, is going to bleed you. They're going to assume ownership of your masters. And then when you then gone, they'll still be making money off of your work. And your children will be broke and starving. Get out. Separate. Separate. Get out. And show them who really has the power. Whether it be sports, music, whatever the case may be, get out. And watch what our unity can do in the long term. We are so dependent on the money, on the endorsements, on the, uh, the perks and the popularity. When God gave you the gift, and a lot of times the gift is being benefited from by individuals who have no talent at all. So why would you waste your talent giving it to somebody who doesn't even appreciate you? NFL players are suffering from CTE, getting concussions all the time, man. Other inju injuries that are, that are, that are life consuming lifelong injuries man you hurt yourself when you was in a league and dudes still limping and back messed up neck messed up and a lot of these players are broke and we still going to the owners collectively begging please let us kneel nah get out and do what you want to do Let's teach the history of that flag and what that flag represents as it relates to us as black people. It ain't never been nothing about bloodshed for us, man. Let's be real. Francis Scott Key, the man who wrote that song, he didn't like black people. Look him up. We've all heard the story now of the third verse of the National Anthem. I mean, if you haven't, then go read it. Go look it up. You don't care about black people. So, just want to put that on your mind when they try to say about respect the flag and honor the flag. and 
under that flag, we received the worst treatment of any individuals to ever walk the planet. So until there's a respect for those who are in existence now, operating under that flag, who are, who are calling the shots now, operating under that flag, until there's a respect given, then we shouldn't be we shouldn't be required to give respect and honor to something that has represented our oppression for hundreds and hundreds of years. So, if you're in the NFL, if you're aspiring to be in the NFL or the NBA, you know, good luck to you, man. God bless you. But learn history, learn business, learn how these businesses operate. And if you pay attention, you're slowly seeing that these individuals only care about their bottom line. You represent the vessel that leads to their bottom line. However, you need to start representing yourself. Because it's despite how much money you make for them, as you can see, your cries for justice are still being ignored. So it's your big brother, K. Reno. Comment, subscribe. Whether you agree or disagree, we can talk about it. Yeah.